sure you'll understand this, but I agree to disagree with you on this. Uh, this is utter complete bullshit. Thank you so much for making this video. Um, I just wanted to add my two cents because I agree 100%, but I feel like there is some things that really need to be addressed. The elephant in the room needs to be addressed because if people are saying this, if people are saying that if you have not healed, then your witchcraft isn't going to work right, um, and you're not going to be able to do, you know, magic and witchcraft and blah, 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 blah. What that tells me is that no matter how much shadow work they've done, no matter how much they've healed emotionally, mentally, physically, they have not healed spiritually at all. They have not done the work to deconstruct Christianity in their mind. They have not done the work to separate themselves from purity culture and the idea that if you are not perfect, you will not be rewarded. If you are not perfect, you won't go to heaven. If you are not perfect, your spell work won't work. Has my magic gotten better, more predictable, more accurate, stronger since I started down my healing journey? Sure, but that could also be attributed to practice, to time, to being more comfortable with myself, being more comfortable with stating who I am and not hiding who I am to make other people more comfortable. This idea that if you are not perfect, your witchcraft won't work is gatekeepy. It's dangerous. And it's such a hangover from Christianity. And it really just makes me want to upchuck. If you have to tell people that if they don't do their shadow work, that they're not fully healed, then they're not a real witch. That their magic is going to go awry. You are not as healed as you think you are. I would also like to add that sometimes shadow work is supposed to be saved for a very specific time in your practitioner journey. Like, sometimes your ancestors, your deities, your spirit guides will make sure that you're unable to do the shadow work until you have progressed a specific amount in your journey. Like, sometimes... You have to be in the thick of the messy, emotional hype of everything to learn something about your practice, about yourself, that might kickstart your shadow work journey or it might still not be time. So... Telling people that they can't practice until they've done their shadow work, do your shadow work, blah, 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 is negating somebody's path, somebody's journey, somebody's fate, their destiny, their orlog. You're telling them that you know better than their guides, than their ancestors, than their deities. You are trying to say that you know better than that person's entire spirit team. And you are trying to shame them for being on the path that they're supposed to be on. Working with the deities, ancestors, and spirit guides that they're supposed to be working with. That's pretty shitty.